Hi there, welcome back to lesson 7. This lesson I'm going to be showing you how to use SVG icons that you've created either in Illustrator or whatever vector program you use to create them. Um, it's basically so that you can add in more complex icons, ones that you can't create in QGIS. Things like nuclear reactors or oil refineries or airport symbols. So um, before I do that, I just wanted to show you how to save the styles that you've already created so far. So you can do this for all of the layers, but I'm just going to show you how to do it for the um, populated cities. So in order to do that, just go to Save Style, double click on the layer, Save Style, QGIS Layer Style, and just save it. So I'm going to call this Cities Styles. Save that. And that's it. So whenever you now create another map, you've got this style saved so you don't have to go through setting it all up again and to load it just load style select a file and it will apply it to the layer okay right svg icons in order to add svg icons um, using rule based um, symbols like we did for the capital city and the other icons you need to be able to have an editable layer now the layer currently isn't editable. You can see this little toggle editing icon here. It's been greyed out. Now the reason it's greyed out is because, as you remember, we set up a query on this layer. Now what that tend basically does is it renders the layer uneditable. So what we need to do is make a copy of this layer and save it as a shape file. So in order to do that, it's very simple. We just control click on the layer, save as browse and I'm just going to call it Iraq locations save that okay you get a little message here telling you it's been exported so now it's exported we need to add it back in so click on the add vector layer icon here browse to your file shape file open and open and there it is. It's basically added another layer on top of our existing populated places. So we'll turn that off and click on this layer. And you can see now the icon is editable. Populated places, uneditable. The new one we've brought in is editable. Now this is where we can use our style that we just saved. So click on load style and city styles and OK. There we go, back where we started from except now we can edit the layer. So what we want to edit is the feature class column in the attribute table. You remember we set them to the different icon styles earlier. So let's click on the pencil to make this layer editable and then click on the attribute table icon. So what we want to do is change a couple of these to a different name. So I'm going to change to crit to airport and let's say Samara to oil refinery. Okay, now to save that, we need to save these changes. So click on the pencil again and then click save. So now we have two more options in our feature class. So now we need to create the rules for them. So as before, double click on the layer, go to style and click the plus symbol here to add a new style in. So click on simple marker and then there's a drop down menu here, change it to SVG marker and down here there's another three dot button so click on that and it will navigate to your desktop or wherever your previous file was and you want to select an icon. I've already got some, well I've got plenty that I've already created in the past so I'm going to add in an airport icon and you can see it's added it here. I'm just going to make it bigger because it's a little bit small. That's better. And now we need to set the rule up for it. So as before, I'll click on the three dots here next to the filter, fields and value, double click on feature class, click on the all unique button. And now you can see airport and oil refinery have been added in here. So equals, double click on airport, OK that, OK that, and click apply. And now you can see to create has been added with an airport symbol. So let's add another one and we'll do the oil refinery. So simple marker, SVG marker, 
click on the three dots here to navigate towards our icons and we'll click on oil refinery open again it's a bit small so I'll just make it a bit bigger and click on the three dots up here next to the filter to create your rule and we want the feature class equals oil refinery okay that okay that okay that and there we can see Samara has been added in with an oil refinery so that's it that's how to add in your SVG icons onto your map now as you can see I just want to go through doing a bit of label styling at the moment because as you can see the labels are actually a bit too close to your actual icons so what we want to do is move them away a little bit so go to labels I'm actually going to change the font because you see the grand is a horrible font so let's change it to Arial, which is very standard font. Oops, there we go. Arial. And we don't want italic, just do Arial regular. And we'll just click apply. Okay, so let's change that all to Arial. Now what we need to do is sort out the placement. So we've got a distance around the point here. So I'm going to change that to two. See what it looks like. That's better. So now all of the icons are moved away, so all of the labels have moved away from the icons a little bit better. So that's as simple as that, really. Um, the next thing I'm going to change purely on this map is to change Baghdad. Now I think being the capital, it should be bigger font and bolder. So in order to do that, click back on your text and you'll see all of these little drop down things here, all of these menus next to every single choice you have in the text. Now I'm going to change the style to bold just for Baghdad. Now in order to do that we need to write an expression similar to what we did before. So click on edit and we need to use what is called a conditional. So here we have the conditional. Now don't be frightened if you're not into coding it's not a problem because it does explain how to do what you need to do. So if you just double click on the case else because case else is basically going to say if the start if the come if the label we are wanting to style is this then do this else do something else so basically we're going to say if the style if the feature class is admin zero capital then style it this way if it isn't style it another way so double click on case else and then it pre-fills this thing in so where it says condition we just double click and highlight it. Go to fields and values and we want the feature class. Double click on that equals, this is exactly what we did before, admin zero capital. Then we want it bold because we're signing it to the style here. So single quote bold. So that means if the feature class is admin zero capital then the font weight is going to be bold else regular yeah so if the feature class is capital make it bold otherwise make it regular so okay that and hit apply and there you can see Baghdad has got bold see that there now similarly I want the font bigger so same expression underneath size. What you can do, and which I'll do here, is edit this, just copy it, control C, command C, and then in the size, edit the expression and paste it in. And the only thing we're going to change here is instead of bold, we want a different font size. So 15, else 12. So basically we're saying if the feature class is capital, make the font size 15, otherwise make the font size 12. So we'll hit OK and apply that. And there you can see all the other fonts have got smaller and Baghdad is now bigger. OK, lovely. So now <clears throat> what I want to do is add in the country names for all of the other countries around it and the country where we're looking at. So it's very simple, <clears throat> go into the country polygons layer, label this layer with, and we want admin, which is going to be the country name. <clears throat> I'm going to choose Arial again, 
Oh, not aerial black, that's a little bit heavy. Just aerial. There we go. And if I want italic, I just want regular. And countries, I normally do them um, bold, uh, capitals. So under typecase, change it to all uppercase. Just hit apply to see what it looks like. And there you go, there you can see. I think I'll make the font size a bit smaller. 11. Click apply. That's better. So now, obviously, I want Iraq to be bigger. So, as before, edit expression under the style, paste that in, bold, else regular, that's fine. OK that, and you should see Iraq get bolded up. Oh, no, it won't. <laughs> Silly me. That was a silly thing to do. So obviously it's not feature class capital. We don't want that. We want to say if admin, let's just show you. So if admin equals single quote Iraq, yeah, bold, else regular. There we go. Now Iraq is bolded up. So we can copy this expression here and then paste it into the size okay and then edit it so if admin equals Iraq and then we're doing the size here so I'm actually going to make this nice and big so we'll do it 20 point else 11 okay so if the country is Iraq make it 20 otherwise make everything else 11 Hit apply and there we can see Iraq is nice and bold now. And that's it. That's a very simple way of styling not just the markers, but the placement of the labels and the style of the fonts. And in the next lesson, I'll also be showing you how to turn on and off individual states. So, for example, you wanted to show one state in isolation. Um, I will show you how to do that in the next lesson.